hello guys you're welcome back to my channel this is Miriam, your girl and i am super excited to have you back on my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're just passing by i appreciate you stopping to watch do consider subscribing to my channel so in today's video i will be telling you about eight qualities i know that we have more but let me drop to you these eight qualities of a typical nigerian what i mean by a typical nigerian i mean as long as this person is nigerian you see this quality that i'm going to talk about the person has it it is inherently in them okay it is inherent in us we have these qualities and just in case you do not know let me educate you not only am I going to educate you, I'm going to educate you and then I'm going to let you hear from people about these things that I'm going to tell you about. First on my list is Nigerians are hustlers. Oh my God. See, now I do not live in Nigeria. Yes, I live abroad and I grew in Nigeria and I know the spirit <laughs> i know the spirit in which nigerians grew in in Niger a typical nigerian is a hustler a go-getter we wake up in the morning thinking about business we wake up in the morning thinking about achievements of the day be you a man be you a, a, a young adult be even children children even a hustlers i'm telling you and i'm not i'm not making any mistakes when i tell you that the hustling spirit in nigeria i have never seen it anywhere else i've been to some different places but there is nowhere like nigeria you do not believe me listen to this guy just listen to him speak that was my point sure so the average young person growing up in Nigeria, I'm there often. Mm. The average young person growing up in Nigeria is not waiting for any government grant mm. because they know it's not coming. Sure. They're not waiting for it. They're not waiting for any government scheme for to fund their business. Mm. That's why I'm a computer, not by a shire. Because when you business plan like a little humble, you see for your trillion man. Any business plan like a little nothing is an amplage, we think Benjamin likes us. Go get customers. That's where the money is. That's why I'm shy. And I speak from experience, yeah. right? I, so people that I went, when I started interacting with them, I was like, whoa, the hustle spirit here is unreal. Sure. It's like you go to Nigeria, my guy, you will never just walk. You will, if you are in mainland, yeah. you can't just walk from one street corner yeah. to another. Having heard that, from this guy. I hope you believe me now. Do you now believe me when I tell you that we have a die hard hustler spirit compared to none? I am telling you. So, this is one. Now, let me tell you of something else that you would find in every Nigerian person, and that is huh, they love themselves we love ourselves see being a nigerian you automatically love forget the whole tribal you know rivalry and everything yes it happens everywhere but just the fact that you are a nigerian you are loved by another nigerian and this is true you know when you go out of nigeria and you meet a fellow nigerian like you are one of us I am one of you. We have this communal spirit. You know, communal spirit, we have it. But outside Nigeria, a Nigerian is a Nigerian, and he is loved by another Nigerian. You do not believe me? Okay, hear from someone else who is not Nigerian tell you about this. Mostly here, we, we, we like to criticize each other. Hmm. I'm not a Nigerian fan, mm -hmm. but I love them for some reasons. Mm -hmm. One, they love their own. Mm -hmm. When we, they, we don't have to tell Nigerians to wear African print before they wear it. Yeah. It is a part, yeah. of, a part yeah. of their life. Mm -hmm. They like to appreciate themselves. 
Now, something else that I need to let you know about Nigerians is the fact that Nigerians are very confident. <laughs> and look, I am not saying all these things because I'm Nigerian. To be honest, I've heard people tell me, like friends, co-workers, they tell me, Miriam, are you seriously going to say that? Are you serious you did that? Like, we have the spirit, like, we're confident. We're not scared of what may. We have to express ourselves. And if you don't like it, it's cool. But we have to express ourselves. And we do it fearing nothing. We express ourselves in a way that you clearly understand. It doesn't matter whom we are talking to. It doesn't matter whom we are dealing with. It doesn't matter where that person is from, how rich, how poor, how your clan, what color you are. Nigerians are Nigerians and they don't care where you're from. If they have to talk to you, if they have to do something, they do it in confidence. If they have to tell you something, they tell it to you confidently. And this is another characteristic of a typical Nigerian. Look, a typical Nigerian says it and says it like it is to you. The only problem is you may not like it, but I'm sorry. It's just us. It's what we do. You do not believe me? Let's just listen to someone else tell us about this. A Nigerian man, if he comes in here and speaks, you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear you properly, yes. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting like, no, he wants to understand what he's not fighting. But you, they taught you that if you don't hear, then sorry, say, hey, can you repeat that? Hey. So they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude. So my ladies and gentlemen, you get what I mean, right? That's what I'm talking about. We do not take like, see, honestly, I've seen lots of people take B shit from a lot of people. Nigerians don't take B shit from anybody. They say what they need to say and they say it. If you don't like it, let it be. But they are gonna suddenly express themselves and that's it for this one now let me tell you something else that a typical nigerian has in him or her wherever you meet them and that is we are very caring a typical nigerian is caring a typical nigerian knows how to take care and one reason why this is so is because we have this communal spirit this family ties so we you know your family your mom your dad uncles aunties lots of people you have the old you have the young and we all have to care about each other we care about each other to be honest i've seen different nationalities who do not care even about their parents i've seen different nationalities who do not care about their own blood they think that once they turn 18 now to your tent o israel but no that's not the way for us we never ever separate from our family no matter how old or how grown we have become and this is why naturally we are caring and that is why you see that most women will say that nigerian men are very caring really i'm telling you and this is why you will hear a lot of people, women from various nationalities, they will say Nigerian men are very caring. And if you also are a man dating a Nigerian woman, I bet you would say same. You could ask anybody. Nigerians are caring by nature. But if you don't still believe what I'm telling you, listen to this lady. 
tell you. Listen to her. Oh, wow. Have you d ever dated uh, anyone from a different country? Uh, I'm from the United States. Um, I only dated, I think, a Nigerian once. Oh, a Nigerian. Uh, I've been told I look Nigerian. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see your face. <laughs> oh, you, you got any, why do Ugandan women love uh, Nigerians so much? Because Nigerian guys tend to take care of women more than Ugandan guys. Ugandan guys are kind of selfish. So what do you like in a man? I like um, stability and support. Now, do you hear that? This is what I've been trying to tell you, that Nigerians by nature are caring people. But if you do not believe me, go to Nigeria. And when you visit Nigeria, come back here and leave a comment for me. I mean it. Go, come back, leave me a comment, and I will respond to you. Now, something else that you should know that a typical Nigerian possesses is the love of Nigerian food, the love of home-cooked meal, the love of eating our own food no matter where we are in the world. I am telling you, and this is making Nigerian food very expensive here where I live. I'm telling you, I went down the other day and I bought something, almost a hundred dirhams, and I can't even account for what I bought from the African store. If I had gone to the uh, maybe a, a supermarket to buy all the kind of uh, you know things, I would have bought a lot more. But Nigerian foods are very very expensive, and that is because home or abroad, our food is the best. We love our food. It doesn't matter what we do. We have to eat our food. Any other food is something that. When you're hungry, you just stop by to eat. It is not something you go home to eat. No. And we cannot, I don't think we can survive two, three days not eating our Nigerian food. We definitely cannot. But if you don't believe this, just like I've been showing you, I will share with you something that you should know. Okay. I know if I say this, some other African countries are going to feel like, you know, what is she saying? But I feel that Nigerians have the best delicacies in all of Africa. Mm, not trying to be a proud girl. Just saying, if you don't believe me, listen to this guy tell you exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So the question of the day is, which country in Africa has the best food? In my honest opinion, Nigeria. Why? Uh, because they have the food called fufu and this food is very healthy and that's why Nigerians that I see normally they are strong and they are healthy. So I think it's because of that fufu. Period. Something else you should know about a typical Nigerian, especially the adult Nigerians, even the young ones. You know Emanuela, right? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people know Emanuela. We are very fair. We express ourselves firmly so that when you see some Nigerians making conversation, you will think that they are quarreling. But no, we are just, you know, like high spirited and we express ourselves in a very firm way. You get me now? We are very firm. Some people say, I don't like Nigerians, I don't like Nigerians. I may really know the reason why some people don't like nigerians and i will tell you about this some other day and i will also tell you some other day why employers most employers do not like to employ nigerians but that will be story for another day just to crown it up because i don't want this video to be too long because i could sit here and tell you a lot of things nigerians are both hard and soft at the same time it simply means that what you give to a Nigerian, you get back. If you were kind, nice, cool, you know, you would get exactly the same behavior. But if you think you are hard and you try to manipulate a Nigerian, <laughs> then it will change them for you. <laughs> it will change them 
for you. If you don't understand, I'm sorry. But if you understand, that's exactly what my Nigerian brothers and sisters would do if you, you know. So just because I don't want this video to be too long and I will share with you a lot more about Nigerians, keeping aside this scam part for now because I'm done educating people about that. And if you have more questions, you can ask me. Do have a lovely day. Do have a happy day. Stay happy, stay blessed, and bye-bye.